give, I was getting ready to do some punches on, and I wanted to say, uh, my punching bag, when I was hitting on it, I guess I was hitting with too much power, and I was like, I was going in with a block, and I was going in with the jab, cross, hook. And when I done that hook, that's when the snap busted and the bag went, the chain went loose on the bag. And probably on a warm day or whatever, I probably end up taking the bag down where I can do the repair on it, you know, where I can fix the strap instead of having to buy a new one. But if I can't fix the strap, then I can fix the chain itself then I might have to purchase me a new punching bag. Which, you know, I kind of need one anyway. I had that thing for years. And that's the thing, you know, if you have it for years and years and years, you do a lot of punching on it, things tend to see to wear and tear. But it's like I said, I'm going to try to fix it first and see if I can get it fixed. If not, then I'll just order me a new punching bag. But, you know, it's like I said, it's just that I had a thing for years and years. It was a birthday present. I really don't want to get rid of it because it's done me good over the years on my training. And I don't really want to have to spend money on a bunch of that. But the only way you can do martial arts or practice techniques, you got to have a bunch of bad hit on. Um, that's just how I see it. You don't get power behind the punches, you know, if you don't have a target to hit on and you know you can work on your speed and your coordination in there and your endurance but you just can't work on your power just by in the air and you know that's just how I see it you know look at look at Bruce Lee or look at um, Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson they would always hit the back you know work on their combinations, their drills, their um, techniques. And they just did it over and over and over and over and over, you know, until they mastered the craft, until they mastered the technique and everything else. That's how I learned my stuff, was by watching them on them doing it over and over and over, their techniques over and over and over on the back. That's how fighters get good with their skill, because they hit something solid. You know, most fighters, you know, they do these classical forms and all that. Yeah, that's fine and dandy. But the thing of it is, I was hitting my bat. I was trying to make the blocking and striking video for all of you guys. But my bag ended up snapping on the, the strap on the bat. ended up snapping because I ended up hitting it too hard. And like I said, you know, I had that bag for years. And the chain was getting ready to bust on it. And I noticed that because... I even showed it in the video on a clip, also, that where the chain is getting ready to bust, and a little piece of it, of it came off when I was hitting it, and I didn't realize it until I looked down on the ground, and after I stopped filming a little bit of that piece that it's broken off. And so, there you have it, you know, this is a bad workout, a short bad workout video, but how to explain to you what happened to my bag. Um, so it's like I said, I might have to get a new one, but I just don't know yet. You know, I really don't want to spend the money on one, but I'm going to wait and see. I might go online and see on where I can get a bag on a cheap bag, but I don't want to get a real expensive one, but I want one that will do me good in my training. So I'll talk to you all later, and stay tuned for the video after this.